very gent. This shows us how to test the VC12 link over an STM1 interface using Actena 5 SD channelizer. The on the screen is the current result of the test that's just run. Now let me show us the setup configurations. When we power up the test set, we see an interface like this. Below following the following are the explanation of the what we see on the interface. We choose the sorry the black one, let me come again. The black the others the highlighted one is where I want where I'm talking about. This is the interface of the physical interface we are going to be using. What we choose to be SDH. We are using the optical part of the network, STM1, not STM4. Then AU mapping remains AU4. And OK. We choose the optical parameter. Optical parameter from the optical parameter, according to my own setting configuration, I need to put my clock source on the receive to, re to be taking the clock from the receive port. There are different options, it could be internal or external. So that's it. Then the output port should be optical, although I have option of electrical. Wavelength. Because of the wavelength of the imp of the port I'm facing, which is 1310 nanometer, and I switch on my laser. Now, going but to the data rate I want to pass over the physical interface, I choose VC12. Let me just come again. You have option of either you want to pass the VC4 full VC4, that's a full SN1 over an SN1, which is this. Or you want to pass a DS3, which is VC3, which is this, or a VC12. Now, I've chosen, then it has to be a PDH or bulk. I choose PDH. Then, okay. Since I'm using VC12 over an STM1, then I need to know the pipe, as in the, the KLM mapping of the VC12 I'm going to use. For this test, I configure, I'm passing my link over the KLM 37-2 over the MOXIS that I, is inside the configuration. Now, depending on yours, this is K is 3, L is 7, then M is 2. Then which equivalent to a triple tree number of 62. Here you have option of choosing whether you are working with time slot or triple tree. Uh, I choose triple tree because I'm using with a I'm um, that's SGH signal. Okay. Now now we are having the rate of two meg because we've already chosen for VC12, which is VC, which is two meg either frame or unframed so i choose unframed here you have option of choosing maybe pcm 30 if you frame it pcm 30 or pcm 30 something now i choose on frame rather okay then this is a test pattern i choose the smallest i choose the smallest test pattern okay same configuration goes to the receive. I come to the receive. Everything I've configured on the, the transmit, I need to configure it on the receive. This is just because I'm running on a loop back, or a loop back from somewhere. If I have a, an option of maybe there's another actina tester at the other hand, I can decide to okay whatever the person configure on the transmit of the spot, I will configure it on my own receive. But now I'm running to a loop. So I need to make sure I have the same configuration on both transmit and receive. That's there. So just confirming that the port is STM1. The test type is either terminated or inline monitor. So now we need a terminated test. We are not monitoring the link. We are we are really so the type 
SDH does interface, not B, not uh, PDH. We have PDH for electrical interfaces. On the physical part of the actina, we can see this. These are where the SDH, uh, where the PDH is applied. Where the SDH is applicable to these two ports, two ports. Okay. SDH, then the optical ports, we are using STM1, the observance that are STM1 and STM4. The data, the interface I'm using at the other hand of the MOX is STM1, not STM4. Then AU4, AU4 mapping, AU mapping remain AU4. Okay for that. Optical parameter. See, we are using the optical, yes. Okay. Now, coming back to the rate, I want to pass over the STM1 interface. I choose PDH. I choose VC12 instead of VC4. Then PDH instead of the bulk. That's okay. Then, coming back to the whether it's frame. I choose remain on frame, everything remain on frame, okay. Then there's a test pattern. Take note, the test, test pattern chosen in the TS needs to be equal to the RX or the test pattern chosen from the remote transmit needs to be equal to your receive. So those are the options. So now we are doing with the configuration of the setup, with the configuration setup, we can come and decide on the test we want to run. We can decide on the type of test we want to run. There are different types of tests. We have performance analysis test, repetitive VR test, APS delay and tributary scan. We can scan this tributary scan can scan for the number of available tributary. If you have more than, if you need a quick one, maybe you can start it. See, oh, sorry, I did not have. Oh, I didn't choose the start. Just hold on. So, okay, so the performance start, performance analysis is still chosen, which will tell us the error seconds, error. Bit. Let me choose the tributary analysis. Tributary scan, let's start the tributary scan and see. Okay. So you can see KLM 111 unavailable, 112, 1321, they are all unavailable according to my configuration on the multiplexer. I've disabled this spot is looking at. If you wait ahead, you can scan through all the ports and need to see that there's only one PC12 that is available as I'm talking about. So let's stop that. Coming back to the configuration. Where we are interested in is the performance analysis test. So we can, after having chosen that, choose the type of test we're going to choose. I choose uh, G821, then allocation 100% TSC, then after this, I think we are done. We can start the test. So, if everything is okay, get the test. So thank you. Bye.